Dale from Gale Forest Winds and it's great to be here in Central Minex 2024 in beautiful Gander, Newfoundland. This conversation is brought to you by our good friends at Rally Drilling Services. They saw the importance of having everybody in the conversation. All voices matter and they wanted to lift everybody up and uh, so glad that they did. Uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, tell us what you do. Uh, my name is Danielle Coates. I'm the Marketing Specialist at Twin Ponds Wilderness Lodge which is, Riley is our parent company, so they own Twin Ponds Wilderness Lodge. And uh, much like you just said, they are very interested in uplifting every part of the community in Glenwood, Appleton, Lewisport, and most areas in Central. Tell us about the lodge. The lodge is just, it's just a beautiful place. Um, it's absolutely stunning in the summer with the pond and, and all the green fields and we get lots of caribou and uh, it's just beautiful when it comes to that. Um, we're really looking to empower all parts of the community. So we're doing lots of community events. We had our grand opening on uh, March 1st there with the, we hired a local band from Gander. Um, we had lots of giveaways from businesses around. We did our sponsorship to Gander Grow Co. Um, all the funds from our tickets, our drink tickets went to them. And, um, yeah, so we're planning on doing a lot more of events like that this summer. We're thinking about some movies under the stars, some local talent nights, more live music. Anything to draw in the community and support local is really what we're interested in. Yeah, I, I love that approach, right? It's so important that Absolutely. if you exist in a, a place like Gander and the surrounding areas that you pull all of that in, right? Yeah. And, and contribute to the overall success of the community. Sounds like that's exactly where your focus. Yep, uh, it really is. and. Even like the little things that we do at the lodge. I mean, all of our rooms are outfitted with quilts um, by a lady named Edna Pollard in Appleton. Oh, wow. And uh, we plan on putting some, all of our paintings, they're going to be sourced by local Newfoundland artists. And like I said before, um, when we have live music, it's always local, local talent. I mean, there's such talent in Glenwood, Appleton, and, and Gander, and all of Central. There's just such talent around that why waste and go outside of central or go outside the province when you have it in your own backyard it's amazing right to have all of that in your backyard yeah and but then have the vision to say okay we want everybody here yeah. to be successful alongside us yeah we, before we uh, riley had bought twin ponds the salvation army owned it and it was it was closed off to the public a little more than it probably should have been um, and then when we bought it, I mean, I had never been out there until uh, we had bought it and simply because I was in Salvation Army growing up. So now that we bought it, we want everyone to come in. We want, there's plenty of people even in Glenwood, which is a stone's throw away that have never been on the property. So, you know, we have a beautiful pond. If you want to come in and fish, come in and fish for the day, grab a bite to eat, relax on the, on the deck and, you know, just, just enjoy as much as we do. Yeah, and, and you know, it's a great offering to the community for and not only from a sort of a, a corporate standpoint where you can bring workforces in and have a wonderful accommodation, but also for those private tourists and stuff that might yeah. come through. Like, it sounds like a pretty amazing place. It is. I'm, I'm truly honored to work there, I must say. I, I couldn't ask for a better workplace. Um, it's just been, it's been amazing, and I, I really love it out there, and I can't wait to see where the future brings us because by the looks of it, it, it's a big future for us and I hope it keeps that going that way. Danielle, what was your journey to this position? Like, where did you come from to get here? <laughs> well, I was in school. I am in school currently for a Bachelor of Education. Um, I have a year left to finish that and I'm still working on that. Um, and my father, uh, you met him earlier, yeah. Dwayne, he's the camp manager. He started working for Rally. As, uh, as the fuel guy, and then as things progressed, I ended up out there, I started as a cleaner for Rally, and then I started doing other things around. Uh, apparently two weeks on wasn't enough for me, and two weeks off was too much time alone, so I used to go in and help my dad with odd jobs around the camp, and um, ever since then I've just, I've been stuck there and I can't get away, but I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, and once I showed that, you know, 
I had the drive and the ambition to keep working and, and uh, I truly have a passion for this place that that I just I ended up here as a marketing specialist and now I just love it. Wow. Rally to me sounds like a pretty family friendly oriented place. They are Rally I can't say enough good things about them. I mean they didn't they didn't know me at all and um, they only knew my father and as soon as I started working there it was just like it was just like family. I mean Robin and Gerald and Hunter and all of them at Rally. I just I can't say enough good things about them. They've helped me in so many ways. I continued to do school throughout while working for them. I come home in the summers to work for them, but then I went to school and they were like, "Okay, well, how about you just do your work from home?" And so they allowed me to do my work from home to help pay my rent. And um I just, I don't know, they're just so nice and so friendly and so welcoming and to help somebody that they never even knew mm -hmm. to pursue their education while working for them, it's just been, it's been amazing. Well, they clearly see value in you and you clearly see value in them, so it's a recipe for success. Danielle, thanks for being on the conversation. We certainly appreciate what you're doing and I would invite people to get out there and see this lodge yes. that you're talking about. It sounds beautiful. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I hope we see you there one day. And uh, everyone else, I mean, come, just relax, just stop by. Come in for a bite to eat and to relax by the pond. And we'd love to have everyone and anyone come by. Thanks, Danielle. Lovely having a conversation. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm.